BlackBerry are known for three key things. A physical keyboard, a secure OS, and a dwindling customer base. Well, today, we'll try to achieve all three. With this, the Samsung Galaxy BlackBerry. <laughs> uh, what have I done? Well, this is gonna be interesting. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to another experiment today. We are lamenting that the uh, the old BlackBerry Classic will uh, reach its end of life, I think, by next year. A lot of things won't work on it. A lot of things don't work on it right now. And so we're looking for solutions. So we will be attempting the impossible, and that's turning this modern, modern-ish uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 into a BlackBerry, or as much into a BlackBerry as we can, with the physicalness and with the software. So you may be wondering, Sam, why'd you get an older Samsung S8? Well, yes, because it's cheaper, fine. Uh, but because this is the last Samsung model that was actually compatible with the first item we'll need. We're gonna need some special dongles to achieve our mission today. Uh, it is compatible with this, the official Samsung keyboard cover. You'll notice it doesn't say smart cover. There's nothing smart about this. Um, in fact, it probably is judging me right now. Yeah, it's trying to call for help. Don't know, it's, this is happening. We're gonna make this happen. So it is a pretty interesting thing. I might be the only person in the world who both uses this and likes it. So uh, we're gonna see what that's like just after we shout out this video sponsor. Big shout out to NordVPN. See, when you go out on the internet, your sensitive IP address is just dangling out there for any old website to see. And sometimes your IP is pointy enough to show those websites your location. Ah, but when you activate Nord, you're putting on your internet privacy pants, which hides your IP address from any website. It also hides your internet traffic from any dodgy people on the network. I'm looking at you, mustache man. Hi. So don't go unprotected on the internet. Get your privacy pants with NordVPN. Get a big discount on the two year plan, plus one free bonus month, all with a 30 day money back guarantee. Go to nordvpn.org forward slash SAMTIME and use the code word SAMTIME. Okay, let's, uh, let's crack open the smart cover here. Here we are, oh yes, we have the quick start guide, which is about an inch thick, so um, I don't think it's very quick at all. So the first thing you do is just like any other case, you just slip it on there. Ooh, does feel good. Okay, hello. But the weird thing you'll notice is that it has the, uh, the, did I, uh, what have I done? Hold Bixby, no, I don't want to start Bixby. No, but sir. No Bixby. All right then. Okay, yeah, uh, one thing that um, is annoying, I've had this phone for a little bit and I've gotten a little bit used to all those niceties that Samsung puts on the Android. Like, listen, listen to this turn off sound. That is a turn on sound for me. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna miss those uh, once we get to the secure OS portion of the video. Stay tuned for that. So you might be wondering, Sam, how does this keyboard work? It's just it's just looking at you and saying, wow, really? You're using a physical keyboard? What is it, 2021? Really? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no, this is called innovation. Innovation, because what you do is that when you wanna do some typing, say you got a, a notes app here, okay, we add a note, and oh, oh, uh, digital keyboard, gross, gross, gross. I'm about to throw up, I'm about to throw up in my pants. Ah, so what you do, you flip over to the back and you just you just peel the banana here, you just peel the banana, this keyboard. What is it, Bluetooth? Uh, no, again, this is physical keyboard. This is not the latest technology. It's some sort of capacitive, I think. It's It doesn't require any batteries. I don't know how it works. It could be black magic. It could be blackberry magic. That's the real uh, trick here. So, now when we type to type a note, you'll notice that, hey, oh, yep, all right, hey you, look at this, oh yes, look at this. One thing I have noticed is that you try and do a full stop by clicking Alt and M, where the full stop is, but that actually does two little arrows. So um, that's fine, you actually have to click Alt and then just press the screen, ah, oh, pressing the screen, oh man. This isn't what I want. You don't have to do that with, you don't have to do that with BlackBerry. With this BlackBerry, you know, the full stop works, the space bar doesn't always work, and the A is actually starting to play up. This is a really best thing that we could do. As you can see, you still have uh, full access to your smiley faces. Oh, no you don't, no, I don't, I don't. Oh, there's my smileys. <laughs> I'm in love with this, uh, this physical keyboard. So I don't know if it's actually faster than writing on the non, physical version, the screen version, like you normies, but it does feel a lot more satisfying. If you try to go too quick, 
then you will do some missed typos and um, sometimes you hit two letters at the, at the same time, but that's because you're trying to be too productive, too productive with a physical keyboard. And the great thing about it is say, hey, now I wanna watch a movie film. This is one advantage that it doesn't have over the Blackberry. You can actually plop off when you don't want it. And then you can watch like a nice movie film on your full super duper display. So it's best of both worlds. And another cool feature with Samsung is that when you do plop on the keyboard, have a look at the, uh, the icons here, you plop it on, it recognizes it, and then it shoves everything up. So it keeps everything within that small square display like it's actually like it's actually made for it. And just like the uh, the Blackberry Classic, when you put it in camera mode, it um, you can't turn it then sideways. You can't, it won't flip orientation. Uh, oh, it, it does, but I wonder if it'll still take long video or if it starts taking square video. Now let's see. Oh, hi there. Um, hey, Blackberry, I mean, uh, Samsung Galaxy, Galox Blackberry, um, are you doing this in square mode or in long mode? All right, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, so it does. Um, if you have the keyboard on, it does switch the uh, it does switch the video mode to square mode. Um, even the BlackBerry still records in in long mode, but that's that's fine. These are the sacrifices you make to be just a little bit different. Okay, so that's basically the keyboard. I don't know if you knew this existed, but it is very fancy, and I do quite like what it does, but it's not enough because this isn't quite like the old Blackberries that are a little more private, or at least I think they are, maybe. Because the newer Blackberries, of course, run on Android and that has all the Googles on it, phoning home, hey Sundar, Sam's on the toilet, now he's in the car, now he's in the car, that's also a toilet, and now I'm on a toilet, that's also a car. Enough, he doesn't need to know all of my bowel movements. So, sorry Google, we will now be installing a secure OS. Yes, we're not trusting them just to turn off the privacy settings. We don't want this phoning home at all. We will be installing a secure OS called EOS. So basically what EOS is, is it's Android, which is open source, all the codes there, but they delete all the, all the Google um, mumbo jumbo that phones home and deletes all your privacy. So it will be quite interesting and hopefully it's not a pain in the butt to install on this device. One pain in the butt letter. Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, bad news though, turns out that my SMG950N is not yet supported by EOS and I can either uh, buy another phone or buy a phone from them. So what we're gonna do, if we can't install the super secure operating system, we're gonna do the next best thing and that's install some BlackBerry shit. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna install is the BlackBerry launcher. I don't know if this is gonna work, you know, the official BlackBerry relaunch didn't really work, but hey, we'll give it a shot today. So this should hopefully make the phone look and feel just like a BlackBerry. I'm excited, hopefully it doesn't break the bad boy. App installed, open please. Blackberry launcher. Oh, 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 now this is exciting. Device assistant. We don't have uh, we don't have the Blackberry one, do we? No, not yet. Okay, that's fine. We have Blackberry Hub services. Can I have some Blackberry Hub, please? Hubba hubba. Uh, F drop. Cannot launch. Okay, so it wants me to install Google. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to sign in to get it though. See, I, I downloaded all these things not on the official Google store because I, I I feel bad putting my Google name in this, because it might not work. <gasps> oh yes, oh, isn't this fantastic? The, the the BlackBerry launcher comes with advertisements for Amazon. Why did BlackBerry fail? Hmm. For all the practical reasons and logistic and financial reasons. Yeah, that's right, you read this right. We are installing the BlackBerry keyboard on my BlackBerry Galox. And then we're gonna try something that's never before been attempted. Typing on the software BlackBerry keyboard with <gasps> the physical Samsung uh, keyboard case. All right, let's see if that works. Very exciting. I'm not installed. Not, no, but I need it. Don't deny me the keyboard. You must have seen I had the physical one and said, why would you want a software one? You already have the superior version. Oh, for the sake of the video, I am gonna have to do something dastardly and that's log into Google Play. Oh, they're gonna have all my details now. This makes me a sad man. One soul selling a letter. All right, we have access. I feel bad, but we have access to the Google Play Store. Oh, this is not what Android phones were for. Oh, I got the BlackBerry launch. Where's the keyboard? Business keyboard theme. Oh my goodness gracious me. BlackBerry alert. Yes, alert. Your apps aren't available. I'll give you $5 if you could fix that for me. Oh, 
Here's my other apps from Blackberry. <gasps> BBM. At least BBM still works, huh? A million downloads. Still not enough. Still not enough. The the, the real the real competitor to to um, to smoke with the fire and with the pigeons with the little notes on their legs. This is the this is the next best thing. Open. Here we go. BBM. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. One thing's working today. Um, uh, I was a bit worried this video would uh, be a total disaster, but. Uh, you don't have an active BBM Enterprise subscription. All right, well, how much is a subscription to BBM? $4 for six months. <laughs> They're not really asking for much, but considering you have to get your friends to also pay for $4, you, you would have to pay that for your friends. So you would have to pay um, the cup of coffee every six months. What does that sound? It's like a baby crying. And now let's see if the Blackberry works with the physical Whoop. keyboard. It does. Hey, there's, well, there's something, there's a, there's a slight bright point in the in the video. Let's make a note, shall we? This note shall be called. Oh, oh god. What? Backspace. Okay, so with the back BlackBerry keyboard, backspace does both the backspace and a space. <laughs> One step forward, two steps back. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Get a oh god. And space does two spaces. Black Berry. Okay, shut up. And that is the Blackberry Galox. Never before has a phone tried so many things and failed at an equal number. So um, thank you very much, Black. Well, no, thanks not Blackberry. Interesting, I'm not a subscriber. But big thanks to our sponsor, NordVPN, and become super secure at nordvpn.org forward slash Samtime. Use the code word Samtime. Subscribe for some more fun little experiments and I'll see you in the next one. Sam Time, signing off. Subscribe today. Looking at that video, uh, that was, you know, was, I thought it was pretty well put together. What do you guys think? Is it good? Oh, good. Especially I don't have to pay for any of those people who showed up. Punk it down. A widget, we could have a BBM widget. Okay. The widget takes up the whole screen and asks you for money. Blackberry Hub Plus notes. Look at that, look at its power it on. One star, beautiful. I'm a, on the paid, they have a paid version? Blackberry, stop asking people for money. We're supposed to inspire you to buy something from us. It didn't, it didn't work? Okay.